Kinchana, Kinchana, ding, 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 ding. So first let's talk about the reverse time remap. You might have seen some big editors using this. You can do this on mobile too, but the process is quite laborious as most of the popular editing apps don't have time remap. And I don't know what the f*** is this. So, so for time remapping, I will be using Node, because it has everything you will need and also has a very friendly user interface. So first import your clips, then press this icon here to enable the timeline. Then add time remap. Here you will see two keyframes. Move the second keyframe to the point from where you want to start the reverse. After that add one more keyframe, and adjust its time to the point where you want the reverse to end. For example I want my reverse to end at this point. After this you may see a black frame like this. To fix it, just adjust second keyframe's time. After that, select the keyframes and open the graph editor. Move this cursor thing or whatever it is to the keyframe area, to edit its graph. And don't copy my graph. I am also not sure if this graph editor works the same as other apps or not. And if your device is good enough, you can also add optical flow. For the zoom transition, I am using two nulls, one for in and one for out. And I don't think I need to explain how to create a zoom transition, so I will just skip this part.
The zoom looks fine, but the time remap feels quite slow, should have used a sharper curve. In anyway that's all for this video.